live video. Andrew. It's Coach Andrew, first year Phoenix, um, previous graduate in 2011. So, uh, welcome to our first Facebook Live recap on our videos that we launched yesterday um, or the day before, earlier this week. If you didn't get the chance to, to take a look at those, I'll go ahead, like I said, recap the videos that we did. Um, you know, for those of you that aren't too sure on what the first T is quite yet, it, it's a nonprofit here that teaches kids life skills through the game of golf so like i said we had those videos we had some life skills that were in those so you haven't if you haven't taken a look go ahead and check out our youtube channel um, and take a look at you know some a couple of the videos that we launched and see what you think of those uh, for those of you that, that did watch it um, let's go ahead and break those down real quick and then answer the questions that uh, we kind of left you with at the end of those videos so the the life skills so we'll start off with the player class how's it going player class um, the, the life skill that you guys were learning was respect and courtesy. Um, so obviously we defined what, what that really looked like, what that is, and how you can use that both on the course and at home, and how you can also use it right now with everything that's going on. Uh, the activities that we did, we did one putting, and we did you know some stuff on the range. Uh, and the golf roll that we used was uh, tee box, the tee ground. So being able to take a club, two club lengths behind it. We also told you guys that you can't tee up the ball in front of the tee boxes, uh, which I'll kind of break that down here in a little bit because Coach Mike and I made this little simulated hole showing you guys what you guys can do at home. Uh, but we'll get to that here in a little bit after I break down par. So like I said, courtesy, respect. I taught you guys the code of conduct, which that was one of the questions that I left you guys with. So I left you guys with three questions. So. The first decoding of conduct was one, asking you guys if you guys knew what that was. And that's gonna be the respect myself, respect others, and respect your surroundings. And we have a little dance, right? So I'll do it real quick for you guys. So, respect yourself, respect others, and respect your surroundings. Coach Mike says you gotta do the hips. Hips, <laughs> surroundings, all right. So that's the, the code of conduct. The next one I left you guys with was what defines a T area and what are the rules? Rules on the T area? Yeah, two club lengths. Mm, yeah. So what defines the T area is going to be those T boxes. So as you see here, we used a couple game boards. So those would be your T boxes. And the rule in the T area was being able to take the club. Uh, be able to tee off two club lengths behind those, but still within the tee boxes. Um, and the third question was, um, what are examples of courtesy, of being courteous? Um, Coach Mike, what would you say would be, you know, a way that you were courteous today? I'd say I was courteous by, um, you know, letting somebody else go before me. I was driving along in a golf cart. I wanted to make sure that somebody else, you know, Make sure we were being safe, so let them go first, so that you know we wouldn't accidentally run into each other or be close to hitting each other, because that would be very, very dangerous and bad, and no one would want that. So, making sure that we're being, you know, courteous and letting others go before me. Right. Good. Yeah. Same thing with me. Courteous, respectful, saying thank you. Like probably the simplest gesture you can do, but still being polite, using the manners. Um, something I always like to do, so something you guys can always do at home, or if you guys take a quick run to the grocery store to get food, um, just you know, always using those. It's good practice time right now, too, when you guys are home. Uh, now breaking down for, for par. So same thing with you guys, except your life skill is a little bit different, and you guys learn meeting and greeting. So it's a little different right now. You guys can't really you know, shake anybody's hand right now. I definitely don't encourage you guys to do that. Um, definitely a little fist bump, elbow bump if you guys are out there meeting somebody, see family members, um, keeping it safe there. Obviously, keep it six feet if you can. Um, and, and but meeting and greeting is obviously you definitely still want to make sure you're looking someone in the eye. If you're wearing a hat, sunglasses, make sure you're taking those off when you're meeting someone for the first time. Um, and then the activities again, we we did the same putting 
and rain drill working on hold. Uh, so we worked on and went over a couple different grips that you guys can use on the putting green. Coach Mike showed you guys the grips that he uses on the putting green. Uh, he even made a pretty good putt. I'll give it to him. He made a good putt. <laughs> Uh, and then the rule still was the tee ground. So you guys were able to take the ball two club lengths behind the tee box, um, still not able to hit in front of the tee box. There will be a stroke penalty if you do something like that. So uh, Two strokes. Yeah, two strokes. So definitely not, not very friendly. One. And then the questions that we left you guys with. So it was Coach Jess that left you guys with a couple questions. So the five steps to meeting and greeting. So went over those good yeah I went over, I went over those in the beginning there so <laughs> making sure that you guys have the eye contact taking off your removing your hat glasses firm handshake asking an open-ended question uh, things like that open-ended question again for you those of you that might not remember off the top of your head uh, something where someone responds with not just a yes or no so something that has a little bit more meat to the answer so And then ALR, Coach Jess went over with you guys too. So, grab these. So ALR, which our class, as you guys know, stands for ask, listen, and also respond. So, good for conversations. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna do that. Go ahead and break off mic and let's show let's show you guys how you guys could have done something like this or even putting from home for you guys that can't go to you know a golf course like what we're on right now something you guys can do to have a little bit of fun at home use some imagination all right coach andrew first there, there's a question i want to get to here okay question is what if i wear prescription sunglasses do i still need to take them off <laughs> if you have prescription sunglasses you don't have to take those off all right. Don't have to. But Coach Mike wears glasses over his prescription sunglasses. <laughs> he would have to take those off. <laughs> All right. Is there any more? Cool. That's the first one so far, so let's move on. Okay. So, Coach Mike and I made this hole. So this is what you guys can do at home. Um, on a rug, tile if you want. Might be a little trickier, but still can be kind of fun. You guys can make your own, like, dude perfect videos. Um, so what we have is we have a little styrofoam cup down here that we're putting into. You guys can use any cup that you guys have, have at home that your parents will let you use. Don't use anything too fancy that could break and they can get mad at you. Don't do that. A um, couple board games. You guys can use bowls if you guys have you know cereal bowls at home. Use those as a tee box. Um, and like I said, the rule that we're going over was being able to take the club two club lengths. So this would be one, two. So inside these tee boxes you guys would be able to drop this anywhere within these two club lengths and be able to play the ball nothing of course again that's going to be in front like this and you can't be outside like this cool so you can do this with your parents your friends your siblings play a little golf ball challenge them who gets the lowest score see if i can make this Oh, so close. Wow. It's really <laughs> close. Putting's not, hasn't always been my thing. But, yeah, something you guys can break off with and, and do at home is just putting something as simple as that, be able to practice at home, um, or even do the activity. Like I said, if you guys haven't seen the video, maybe building this hole before, and then kind of doing the activities that we, we had in there for you guys. So, something pretty fun that you can do at home with the, the family. A uh, question was asked, too. Are you able to tee off outside of the tee markers? Or so you're able to have your ball outside of the tee markers when you tee off? Yeah, so he uses white ball. So you're saying like, can I tee off with the ball out here? No. Still we get a penalty there. We've got to be inside of this. The one thing you can do that you'll see some golfers do is they'll, I'll show you lefty so you guys can see me. So you can have the ball in there and have your feet outside of the tee box. You don't have to be in the tee box, but the ball definitely does have to be. Nice. Any other questions? Um, had to do with uh, with the hold, if you want to go over the different different ways to hold the club. So, oh, which one works the best for you? So, 
I've, I've been through like a couple grips while I've played golf. Um, I was a part of a couple winning South Mountain Kalani Cups, and back <laughs> then I used to use a left hand low, so it's just like a reverse grip. So instead of me being like right handed, how you hold it, I would hold it left handed. I just felt like I felt like if you lead with this back of your hand, it kind of just always kept the ball going where it was supposed to. I don't know. I've never really been that good of a putter, so in my head I felt like I putted better that way. So. Um, but eventually just kind of switched back to right right hand right handed and just felt like I don't know just felt like my palm was pushing so that helps me out when I'm putting nice but I still can't make it into the cup so <laughs> whatever works for you guys whatever you guys are more comfortable with send me videos if you guys set this up and you guys actually make one <laughs> hashtag ha ha coach Andrew <laughs> So the question, the clarifying question again on the tee and ground, just to make sure, um, what can be inside and what has to be outside? Like, could your body be outside the teeing area and then the ball's inside? Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. So like I said, if, if you have the ball here and your feet are out here, no penalty at all. Just want to make sure that the ball is parallel with the teeing ground and you can be two club lengths behind. So you could be out here swinging a huge goofy driver if you wanted to. If you're a lefty, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, you could be outside. Ball just has to be inside the team ground. Got it. Awesome. Cool. Do you want to take a try at this, Mike? Try putting the hole? Uh -huh. Sure. All right, cool. Like I said, I want to see you guys try this too. It's not as easy as it looks. Mike can probably get it. He's actually a really good putter. Man, a little bit off there. <laughs> you got a couple laughing emojis, so that was it's pretty good. Yeah, you know, I'll just I'll finish it up here. So guys, it's pretty difficult if you end up behind the cup. So it's it can be kind of tricky. There you go. Now we can go you do for you if you have a real hole here. Yeah, I'll play a real hole. I play. Okay, so I'll use the same tee boxes, guys. And I'm just going to put the put to this hole here. Question, what are some different, different ways you can hold the club as well while you're putting? Um, a couple that we went over. So we have like what Phil Mickelson uses, which is the claw grip. So that's one you guys can use. Um, you guys can go baseball grip. You just kind of grip it like a baseball bat. But uh, there's hot dog grip where your thumb is the hot dog. Your hand's going to be the bun. You just put it right on top of the hot dog. So there's that one there. Um, and then, like I said earlier, the one that I used to use is that left hand low. So another grip that you can use putting. But, I've never seen anybody use it, but I know a lot of you guys like to practice is, is the hockey grip. Coach Scott's probably pretty good at the hockey grip. So, those are a couple fun ones you guys can practice or yeah. use at home. Question is, which one, is there a right grip or a best grip, or how would you describe it to those who are wondering what's the best one or what's the right one? I, I always just go back to feel, whatever feels best whatever makes you feel the most confident when you're putting um, use that one so even if you switch I mean you see everyone's switching grips every so often so try new ones whenever you need to um, but yeah whichever one feels the best whichever one makes the ball go in the hole all right let's see it <laughs> all right Oh, curl in. Oh. I don't know if you maybe want to show the parents the holes that are out here on the golf courses now. That way, you know, you guys. So it's kind of like the golf course 
caution that everyone's using nowadays so you don't have to touch the flag is they're putting the the noodle in the hole so that way if you guys do come out here with your kids you just know that you know once they make once they make a putt their ball kind of goes right there so they don't even have to touch anything so just so you guys know how um, they, they are trying to be a little safer here at the golf courses too so don't feel like you know they're touching everything because that's something that the golf courses are doing so it's pretty cool different got it cool so and then maybe how i'm what we're doing to stay safe we'll go over that is there any questions that popped up yet let's see we go over that yeah question how, so how do you stay safe during all this coronavirus and all this stuff going on how can how do you stay safe so definitely one Uh, for me, yeah, I wear um, wear gloves when I go out. So I actually have gloves with me right now um, that I have. Also, I'll yeah wear a mask as well when I'm when I'm not talking, obviously, <laughs> and uh, um, and out and about. So uh, yeah, make sure to wipe down um, any any often touched surfaces. And uh, yeah, that's what best thing we can do now and wash your hands as much as as much as possible so make sure that we're washing our hands for 20 seconds Here. So ask, ask them if there's any other questions. And um, ask loud too. Yeah. Be loud. Um, does anybody else have any questions? Any, anything else, Coach Mike and I need to answer for you guys? Any, I mean, anything. So let me know now. as of now so cool. so i guess that's going to be it from us here at legacy um mike's going to be on facebook live tomorrow at 4 30 so make sure you guys tune in he's going to be going over the birdie eagle lessons if you guys haven't watched them yet i definitely suggest watching them today and then watching the recap tomorrow with mike um i'll also be there to help him out so you'll you'll see myself as well uh, but yeah thanks for tuning in today guys thanks for all the questions i uh, hope you guys enjoyed you know the fun course that we set up here um, and hope you guys play it at home let us see it too don't forget to tag us on on instagram and on facebook and do you want to do do you want to do a contest before we leave what do you want to do let's play a hole okay which one do you want to go to go to that one go to that one again I'll get it. But. All right, I just want to make sure that there's no, no excuses if I do beat you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. We'll do it one at a time so you can finish it up.
right, that's a two. That's a two. Go, Mike. <laughs> If you guys watch the videos, I didn't win one one single activity, so this it feels pretty good to beat Mike right now. So, all right, guys. But like I said, tune in tomorrow. Mike's gonna be on Facebook Live at 4:30, um, doing the same recap that I did today, but it's gonna be for Birdie and Eagle. So, and like I said, if you guys haven't seen them yet, you got another day to do it. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yep, tomorrow at 4:30.